Okay, so we'll see. I, you know, I have a feeling there might be a couple parts to this video. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. So anyway, let's see what I can get in here, and then I'll have to see how I feel about it. All right. So anyway, I talked about the gut. So now, then afterward, you know, when you get in this relationship, I mean, it it seems amazing. You know, amazing. You know, and then, uh, like I said, very heightened emotions and feeling like this person is great. You know, you know nobody's great, no one's perfect, but I mean, they appear to be that way. And again, nobody's perfect, we're not talking about that. You know, everybody's got flaws, we're not talking about that. But then there's like crazy stuff. There's like, it's not just flaws, it's not just, it's like, not good stuff. So, but anyway, so these relationships, typically they go for a while and you get hooked in them because they seem really good. I mean, you just think you've really met a cool person and it's good and you got this good thing going and you feel very happy with them. You know what I'm talking about, anyone's had them. Feel really happy with them and it's a good thing. And then, <clears throat> I don't know how many months, it's probably different for everybody. <clears throat> Maybe after six months, could be nine months. I'm looking back in some of mine. It was usually around eight or nine, actually. Around eight or nine? It, it, you just start seeing things. Now that looking back again, there really are little things along the way, but when you're in that, you don't notice them too much because there's a lot of good stuff going on. So every now and then there'll be a little thing, I, I can't explain it, a little thing here and there that you would see and you're sort of like, say to yourself, hmm, you know, it's like a hmm, like, did I, did, did I see that or did they do that? But then they slough it off somehow. They slough it off. And then, uh, but it's like, there again, it's a gut. You will get like these little guts mixed. Not every second, not every minute, but here and there, little guts. And so then like, you can, I did it, doubt yourself. Like, well, maybe I'm being too hard on them. And maybe it's because I had another bad relationship. Maybe I'm not, Maybe I'm not being, maybe I'm being unfair or unreasonable. You understand? You start to question yourself, doubting. And the reason you do that, I've learned, is because, I didn't know at the time, the reason you do that is because they made it so great and made it look so good, and then now you've got a glimpse of a little something else, it just doesn't fit. You know what I mean? It doesn't fit what what all that other stuff they were showing you so that's why you question yourself like that's why you question yourself but anyway i'm here to tell you so let's go on and then you could get into more details of that but i won't at this time so bottom line is as the relationship goes on and you're hooked into it your feelings are there or you're hooked into it and then as time goes on these people I've had them I'm many I hate to say it but I have and they were all so different then they here's the overall picture of what they do again they're all different their personalities are all different their ways are all different but the overriding theme with all of them is exactly the same. Exactly. So I had guts, you get guts with all of them. And uh, overriding theme is eventually, no matter what, it becomes drama and chaos. 
so then those really good times that you were having in the beginning that were so much fun and exciting and loving and they seem so easy to get along with, you know, that's why you like them. Nobody's going to like somebody that's hard to get along with, fighting you tooth and nail every second. I mean, why would you, you know? That's not why you felt for them. So then, but this is after you're hooked, after you're hooked in, after you've gotten your love established, you, you care for this person, it starts leaking out. And, but what the bottom line is, and it keeps increasing as the relationship goes, how it ends up, even without you realizing it, I mean, you realize it, but you feel like, wow, you know, you don't realize. What takes time to realize is that you have to get out of it, as it did me. I got out of mine, but it did take me time to realize I had to get out of it. I'd see and like, oh, this is not good, but you know, you want to try, you want to work on it, you don't want to quit easy. So, but the overall theme, sorry, I'm jumping around a little, is drama, chaos, they, and they argue with you. They find art. You can have the most peaceful, nice, calm day and they'll start arguing with you. About what? Start up. And you're trying to figure out why are you starting something up? Like, don't you like peace? Like, why are you starting this? But they do. So, in the end of the whole thing, what happens is they bring chaos and they bring drama, and they're never pleased, they're never happy, they're always finding fault, and then it's always you, you're the wrong one, they're never wrong, they, that you are. And eventually, as long as you're with them, there is no time for you. Like, in other words, there's no time for you, meaning me, and this, or you, to focus on anything that you ever had. Nothing. So, in other words, if you had a career you were focusing on, now you can't because they don't let you focus on it because now, they don't tell you they're doing that. They're not like, ah, oh, I'm not going to let you focus on your career. And remember, this goes both ways. So I'm talking about women doing this to guys, too. It's not like just a man bashing. It's nothing to do with that. This is for everybody, guy, girl, whatever. That um, they bring so much drama and chaos that you can't focus on your career. You can't focus on your goals. You can't move forward with your dreams. And by the way, when I look back on all of them, not realizing it, because like, they'll appear to be, like if you were to say to them, like say you were gonna do an adventure and you just told this person, the same person, oh, I'm gonna do this now, I'm really excited about this. They're not supportive at all. They're not. They might tell you they are. That's the hook. Because, you know, if they're going to not be supportive at all, you're going to be like, what? what's that all about, you know? But they might act like they're supportive. But then when you're doing it, they aren't. And they try to thwart it and stop it. I know. I tell you stories with all of them. I might do a video and give you actual stories if you want. I don't know. We'll see. See if you want. If you want it. I don't know. If it helps you and you want it. But I uh, won't well, right now. But so if I were to look overall the big picture of it. That's how you can lose yourself. You do lose yourself. You lose yourself with these people. It's not that you tried to lose yourself, it's not that you wanted to lose yourself, but they make you lose yourself. Because as long as you're with them, that's you will lose yourself. Because whatever's going on in them, their dysfunction, their toxicity, 
they will make sure you lose yourself. They are not supportive. They don't want you getting ahead. If you have a dream, they're going to thwart it and stop it. So, all those times I was with those people, that's exactly what happened and what they did. Yep, they were all different. When I was gone in the in the good stage, they were acting like they were all for me and for all my for me. And I was for them, because that's how I am for the person. I am supportive. I don't try to take things from people. They played that part, but once in it, they weren't like that at all. So I didn't get anywhere. I didn't get anywhere. You know, and then by the time you realize it, you know, you realize it, some poor people never get out of those things. They never get out of it. And then they end up thinking it's them. But, you know, each time I learned something different, I learned and got better, you know. Um, but, you know, I could do another video sometime on what the signs are early on so you don't get involved with people like that. But when you see it, you got to be willing to walk. And uh, so, again, I could get in a lot more detail but I'm letting you know what they do. And um, so let me let me jump ahead on this one thing. Let's get out of the marriages. I'm giving you all the details and giving you an overall picture. Um, okay, so out of the marriage, you know, then I had a long-term relationship four years, one and off. One and off because I'd break up, because I learned more, and I, I would break up. I had some other one and off relationships. I'd break up and go back. Wake up, go back. You know, I'm here to tell you now. I've been there, done that. That breakup, go back. The breakup is because you saw what wasn't good. So I'd break up, and this is the other long-term relationships. But then I'd get a week, that's me. That's what we do, not putting anyone down for it. You get weak because, remember, you invested the time in that again. You did care for them. Then I'd break up because I'd see something. Uh, and then they talk me out of it. Uh, and make me believe it would be better and it wouldn't be that way anymore. So then, yeah, give it a chance. It's okay for a little bit. Back again. That's how they've all been back forth. So I'm here to tell you now, if you're breaking up, it'll never be right. Ever. It just won't. A breakup is for a reason. Because you saw stuff. You saw crap and you saw stuff. They don't change. I'm being honest. They don't. Been there, done that many times. I mean, keep checking it out if you want. But you're going to keep seeing your dreams are going you won't have any, because they won't let you have them. So, but anyway, I'll jump ahead here. So, then after that, I was single for a while, took the break. And then after about a year of not dating anybody, and you know, keeping very aware, then I met somebody, and this is before YouTube. So anyway, I was dating this guy, I was looking for things, you know. Now, again, there was the gut early. I didn't trust the gut again. Didn't do it. Talked myself out of it. You know, I thought I was judging that I had a gut. Again, every time. I didn't listen. And again, there was no evidence at that time. No evidence. It was just a gut. But it was a year. I wasn't with anyone. I thought, what the heck? You know, maybe I'm wrong. So there I did it again. Got involved. Hey, make a long story short. Same thing. I wasn't even real like gung ho on this guy, but he appeared to be a nice guy. Uh, I wasn't even really attracted to him. I wasn't. So I, I, I don't know. I just thought, well, maybe this is something different. I'm not real attracted, but he appears nice. Let's see if I get attracted. If I don't, I'm getting out of it. Cause you know, it can't be something you're not attracted to. You just can't. 
I thought I'd do that route because all the other ones I was very attracted to. Very, okay? So, uh, I wasn't attracted. Uh, but anyway, make a long story, he did all these really nice things. Fake! That was fake! It was just a trap! But I'm telling you, he did a lot of nice things. I'm gonna get into all the nice things he did. Did a lot of stuff for me. A lot. I didn't, he just did all the... So he kept doing them, and I thought, wow, this guy's nice, you know? You know? And, uh, so therefore, because of that, I ignored the gut. There were little gut things mixed in. But there you are again. I was in it already. And he was doing all these nice things, and I liked that. I mean, come on, something wrong with that. I liked it. I mean, it was fun going out, doing stuff. It was fun again, you know, being with somebody. I mean, I went a whole year. I never did that before. So, so let's jump ahead. But just so you know how far I've come. So anyway, while I was with him, and by the way, I broke up with him after, was it 11 months? 11 months. 11. I said, that's it. And I never spoke to him again because I had to cut it off. But anyway, uh, prior to doing that, I was just not, uh, so I ended up, did establish, as time went on, this attraction. I did, and had feelings and all. And I thought he was a really good guy. But anyway, then I started going down the other direction. Probably because things were leaking out and I was learning more. I didn't know, but things were leaking. I wasn't fully aware because they were spread out. And my feelings started to diminish, which was something different. I wasn't feeling it for him. So, you know, having more awareness from other experiences, it's like, why am I feeling this way? I was actually feeling bad initially, like, because I wasn't feeling it for him anymore. And I felt guilty that I didn't feel it. Like, why? He's doing all these nice things, and I told him how much I cared about him in return, and I'm not even feeling it. And I told somebody about that, my mom. I, I just said, I don't know what to do. I'm not feeling it for this guy. I, I don't want to end up with him because I can't be with someone I'm not feeling it for. So anyway, I know now why I didn't feel it for him. Because those little things mixed in were showing me more than ever. He's not good. Same kind of toxic person. It just was leaking out. Remember, it takes a while to see it. So, I mean, other relationships, I was in like four years, three years. So, I told myself after those others, I was not, when I realized I was in something toxic, I was going to get out sooner. I wasn't going to be in them three and four years and keep going back and forth. And I did it. I broke up in uh, 11, 10, 11 months, I don't remember exactly. And I didn't go back. No back and forth with this one. Cut it off. Cut it off. End of it. Cut it off. And, uh, but just so you know, I'll share a couple of the things he did that was turning me off. Why I was getting that turn off. I was starting YouTube. Just starting my channel. And, uh, he pretended to be supportive of my YouTube channel. Because I'd share it. Oh, I'm starting YouTube. You know, and it's, oh. Yeah, he acted all supportive. Fake. He wasn't at all. Not at all. Not at all. It was leaking out in ways. I could see it. He was jealous of it. Why? If you're... Why are you jealous? Like... You know, like, it wouldn't be like, like, I would have, I was making him part of it, you know, and uh, he could have even been in a video, all right? So I never made him feel he was, he was not supportive. He didn't care about it. In other words, he wanted me to care about all his things, which I did. He didn't care about any of my things, because that's how they are. 
They don't care about what you're doing. It's all about them and what they have, and they're jealous. He was jealous. I was really detecting this jealous competitiveness with me. It's like, I don't want to compete with the guy I'm with. Oh, that's not, that's dysfunctional. If you're competing with your partner, it's dysfunctional. It's not love. <clears throat> anyway, bottom line is, I detected it. He wasn't supportive out in the slightest. He didn't even watch him. Talk about not supportive. Your partner doesn't watch any of your videos so that you get a view or a like. And I knew it. I knew it. It's like I didn't want to believe that about him, but it is. He was jealous, threatened. And there's no reason to be threatened. You're doing YouTube. You know, I'm not, you know what I mean? So we could all be threatened about everything. I mean, why do you want to be with someone who's threatened by everything that you do? Okay? You know, you have a partner, you discuss it nicely. <clears throat> But you can't hold people back from their dreams. You can't. You have to grow. There is nothing wrong with being in a relationship and having a dream. Them having their dreams. That's what a good relationship is. You have your dreams. They have their dreams. They support yours. You support theirs. You come together in love. It's not love when they want to sabotage your dreams, create your life to be chaos, and it's so chaotic that you can't focus on anything for yourself. It's just because it's so chaotic, stressful, and the number one word is anxiety and stress they bring to your life. Tip. So I could do more on this, get more in depth, but that's why then I broke up with him. After that, I said, I'm not going to be with anybody. I'm going to now not. I'm not. I'm going to focus for now, now for change on my dreams that I never had a chance to because they, these people thwarted it, thwarted all my efforts. I had dreams. I had dreams the whole time with everybody. I've always had dreams. I've always had interests, hobbies. I have never, ever tried to ever, like anyone I was with, I wanted to keep all my hobbies, all my interests. They took them from me. I didn't give them up. Like some chicks will do that. I don't, we'll just like, Oh, I met a guy, now I'm giving up my life. I never did that. You should have your life, keep your life. I never did, but I didn't have time for those things because they caused so much chaos, so much drama, so much, I could give you tons of stories, of, of exact stories if you, of what they did. I didn't want to get into all that, but uh, <clears throat> so now, I'm not chasing love, I'm chasing my dreams. I'm very content and very happy with that because I have goals and dreams I want to achieve. I don't want anyone messing with that. Do I ever say I don't ever want to find love again? I'm not focused on it at all. Yeah, of course, everybody would like that, but I'm not, I'm fo my focus now is not that. It is my dreams, my visions, because I was robbed of it too long. So anyway, I can do more in this video if you want, <clears throat> but I don't want that for you. So to end this video, this particular video, don't let anyone take away if you want to work out, if you're into working out, they tried that for me too. I didn't get rid of that. They tried though. They tried. They tried for that one. Never happened, but they tried. They took other things from me though. So you know, get someone that doesn't want you to work out, doesn't want you to 
have a YouTube channel, doesn't want you to go to call, go to school, doesn't want you to do your arts, your whatever, whatever your dream is. And they talk you out of it. That's not the person you want to be with. That's not love. That's not support. They're going to keep taking things from you until you're nothing. And by the way, that can include weight loss. Because they want, if you were heavier, and the, I'm saying if you were heavier, and you want to be slimmer, because that's your new goal, they don't want that. They don't want you to succeed. Keep that in mind. Exer it can be any of that stuff. It can be all that stuff. So anyway, I hope that helps, because I know there's people out there that have that. I see it. I have friends. I see it people that are in those things and they don't realize it like I did it but you know something's wrong you know you know in your heart of hearts there is but you know you're afraid you're scared it is scary it can be scary you know I mean nobody likes being alone it's not that bad not when you get used to it I said I'm out of my comfort zone and it's been good it's just different but it's good. It is. It is good. It's so much better than being with somebody that takes that from you. And we're not talking normal relationships where they let you have those things because that's what a good one is. A good relationship is good. And they give normal stuff, but they don't try to take those things from you. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. And uh, I don't know. We'll see if I'll do another video on it. If you want more detail, I don't know. See if you like this one. Okay? okay. Anyway, I'm tired. It's late. I had a long day, and I'm going to bed. So that's it. Good night.